We can also, as an administrator, get some useful diagnostics from the panel, and this is ideal for IT managers or facilities managers who want to monitor how the device is being used or to troubleshoot if there are any issues. To access the administration console, we click the three line icon below the digital clock. In grey writing just at the bottom here on the information screen, we have the words admin login. If we click this, using an administrator level PIN or RFID, we can then access the console. This will give us useful information about the device, including its IP address, its MAC address, the IP address of the Avoca home server and which it's pointing to. We can set the Wi-Fi, we can reboot, we can shut down. We can also access more information about the settings it is currently uh, downloading from Avoco Home. And useful diagnostics can also be made if trying to troubleshoot the unit also. If we click Diagnostics, we can di uh, diagnose certain things like whether the lights work. We can diagnose red lights. OK, and each time we'll get a confirmation. Green light. Again, confirmation should come up shortly. Also other useful features as well is the ability to test the touch screen. So we can click on different areas of the unit and we can test that the points of touch are working. And also for network connectivity, we can also test the ability to ping Google, the ability to reach the Evoca home server and the ability to reach an NTP server as well. Final options as well are to change the server IP. This would be good if you're changing the server on which you're using Evoca home. Alternatively, if you are moving the panel to a different room or assigning it to a different location, you can also change the room by clicking Change Room, clicking OK, and the list of different rooms that we've got set up on Avoca Home are all chosen from here. I'm going to select it back to Willow, which is the original room, let that download, and then we return back to the panel.